Hello, all signs, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. Please keep in mind, my readings are general, may or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more insight, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, I am currently doing them. So, uh, everything that you need to book with me will be in the comment section below. I'll make sure that is there this time, okay, you guys? Now, if you book with me um, between today and tomorrow, I only do weekend reads. So, your reading will either get done Sunday or Saturday, depending if you do, if you book today or tomorrow, okay? So, all the way from Aries to Pisces, Spirit, please give me some energy. Let's start with Aries. Aries, what is the energy for you and love? And the card is release your ex. It is in the reverse, okay? But new love is coming. So I feel like your ex hasn't necessarily released you, but maybe you've released them because you are finally getting some new energy here. And I feel like this new um, person is stirring up your romantic feelings, honey. You ain't get feels about this one. This one, this motherfucker mine. <laughs> All right, let, Spirit, what do you have to say? What do you have to say for Aries today, Spirit? What do you have to say to Aries? One flipper to start the reading. All right. I feel like you felt like your life was on hold or was moving really slow. Okay. But now there's about to be some type of abundance. Be careful. I feel like whoever this person is that's coming in has the potential to get you pregnant. I see a lot of, you know, <laughs> running into you. This is slow sex too. So somebody is like real sexually like passionate and wanting to like caress you and you know all that stuff yeah i feel like you've been single for a nice little minute you've been dating but i don't feel like you've been getting anything worth having bitch now you will four wands hello they at the door look at this they see your worth okay i feel like people in the past may not have noticed you or they didn't give a fuck about you in general and what you had to offer this person here will they see your worth with the empress here you're showing up as somebody who's all the queens okay this motherfucker looking at you like this the one all right now let's see what i have for advice for you be vulnerable to this person okay you know you guys like to stand your ground you know set boundaries with this person i feel like you can you know be yourself or you know be a little loose because with the six of pentacles this person is going to reciprocate they're going to give to you you're not going to have to worry about this person okay all right one card from the rebel deck it says that project that person that idea is waiting get after that shit the world has your back the world honey everybody sees this for you all right so thank you taurus what is the energy for Taurus? What is the energy in love for Taurus? What is the energy in love for my Taurians? One, there we go. We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. And bottom of the deck, you're going to have to let your boundaries down. All right? Some of y'all got certain shit about y'all that y'all don't like to, you know, bend, pull, and flex with. But this person you may have to bend, pull, and flex with. Um, this is definitely somebody you dealt with before. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or somebody you find very attractive. All right? This is someone who can be very sweet, but sassy, too. Spicy motherfucker. Ooh, Knight of Cups in reverse. I feel like this person um, is not going to come and make you an offer. You're going to have to come to them. This person is waiting or has been waiting for you to come to them. Nine of Cups. This is somebody who has the potential to make you happy. This is wish fulfillment for you. This person could give you everything you wanted. Yeah. Somebody wants to know the truth, though. They want you to be honest with them. This person doesn't want no bullshit with you. Yeah, Five of Wands. Maybe you guys had a fight in the past or you guys have a lot of fights. There's a lot of conflict between you two, but I feel like that's because you haven't been coming to them. Somebody has not been opening up emotionally. It's time for you to do that, Taurus. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. You're going to have to work with this person. I feel like this is something worth having, though. Seven of Wands. This person may have blocked you, or you may be really guarded, or this person may be really guarded. I'm getting this person may have blocked you because you weren't coming through with the love and the affection that they wanted you to. But Spirit is saying, if you want to come back to this person, you're going to have to be honest. You're going to have to be vulnerable. You're going to have to be loving. All right, let's get one card from the Rebel deck. Oh, it says you're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Okay, thank you, Taurus. Gemini. Uh, uh, Gemini. <laughs> I haven't seen no reading from her in a while. Let's see what's going on. Y'all be seeing me commenting on them people's stuff? 
It's one of the people that I really like her. She's new. I ooh, I didn't remember her name, so I could say it. Um, she had an hour long reading for Gemini's, and she was hitting. She was so fucking funny, yo. If y'all run across her, just like my comment, because that's my bitch. I like her. She's new. She only has like a thousand subscribers, but I'm pretty sure she'll be very good in this. She's a Gemini as well. Let's see. Your car is playfulness. Ooh. It says, to recapture romance, allow your inner heart and youthful spirit to shine. You deserve love. Spirit is saying you are lovable. I feel like somebody's coming in for us. Somebody came in for me. I got a date at four. So, I'm saying, like, see what this goes, you guys. Open up. Allow this person in. Don't let your past get the best of you, okay? We always know how to start over. We don't give a fuck. We be hurt for that moment, baby. We be dying. But let somebody new come in, we be like, mm, mm, mm. back to normal. <laughs> we get our shit together quick. Okay. All right. Look, the chariot. Look, you moving on. Gemini's is like, I get my, I grab my things and I go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, strip card. Could be a Leo coming towards you. I feel like you've been trying to resist change or moving on from somebody for a while. Okay. Yeah. But this person didn't open up to you emotionally. I feel like this person may have been a bit manipulative. Manipulative. This is an energy of somebody who had feelings for you, but purposely didn't tell you. Um, this person probably didn't want you to take advantage of them. They might have been scared. This person didn't want to open up or they just weren't ready. They had a cup sitting right here the whole time, but they weren't fucking offering it to you. They was holding that shit to the side. They may have been giving you the D because I see a wand in his hand. He was offering up the wand, but the emotions he was stingy with, right? Yeah, this it's because this person may have already been in a family. Um, damn, this is the reading we had yesterday. Don't might want to hear about this shit. Four of Cups. There was a sense of rejection, a sense of you feeling rejected from this person. Whatever. Yeah, you you walked away from something. You're walking away. Keep on going. I feel like there's something coming in. Look at this, four wands. Now, bitch, you in a relationship. How about that? This motherfucker in a relationship, now you are too. Spirit said, go ahead and, and let this go. All right? Let's talk about this new thing that's coming in for you. It's going to be a relationship too. This is not going to be nothing, you know, light for y'all. This is going to be heavy. Look at this, Knight of Wands. They're coming in fast too. They may be a little bit immature. I'm picking up this person that doesn't take things that serious, okay? Um, but they want a relationship. Mm-hmm. Page of Wands is somebody new. Somebody new coming to spark some shit up. I feel like this is an individual who knows how to be mature when they want to, but this person also is playful, okay? This person likes to play. Now, when I say play, I don't mean like play with you. They're not going to play about you. This person wants you. However, this is somebody who is very lighthearted in nature. It could be an Aries. Um, but let's see. Yeah, Three of Wands. This may have been somebody that you... um express how you felt about your past too or you will you may tell this person what you did somebody is going to be very easy for you to talk to this person is going to come to you while your back is turned while you're not looking for anything while you're going through something mm -hmm. while you're not expecting anything from anybody the knight of wands i mean the knight of cups is in reverse but they coming you cold as ice though gemini you want to have to loosen the fuck up all right let's see what your advice is what is the advice for gemini the hangman, take your time. The hermit, heal. Okay, the empress. Because I feel like it's very hard for you to get... Like, you may be in the middle of a transformation. Some of y'all could be doing y'all hair. You know, get just getting back to the sexy you again. Because I feel like you be one of the bad bitches. Like, you be a queen of wine. You be a queen of swords. You could be a queen of cups. You could be a queen of... What is the other one? Whatever. You could be all them bitches. But you're never all in one. Somebody always takes you out of character. I feel like somebody here is going to make you get right back in it. Or you are going to be the one that gets right back in it during this period of you just chilling out. But don't worry, because this motherfucker right here is going to give you a lot of fun, okay? <laughs> All right, Gemini, so good. Let's get one card from the Rebel Day. It says it's time to let go. Move the fuck on. So the past is gone, all right? They've left the building, and you need to, too. All right, so moving forward, Cancer. Cancer, what do we have for Cancers? What do we have for Cancer Spirit? What is the Oracle for Cancer Love Oracle? Give me one, please. Okay. It says children and separation. So you may be in separation from somebody needing to focus on them damn kids, okay? 
Let's see what the bottom of the deck has. It is safe for you to love. But don't close yourself off too much. Sorry. Oops. Sorry, I need to drink a little bit, you guys. Oh, my God. Stay. All right. Good doggy. <laughs> Good doggy. Mm. All right. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, tell me what's going on. What is going on for cancer six of swords okay so you're on the go you're trying to decide whether or not you should leave a situation to get yourself back you're like do i want to stay with this person and heal this situation or do i want to move on and focus on myself i feel like there's a connection here that you can't leave but you may be thinking about it yeah i feel like it may not be going so well between you guys right now Yep, Eight of Pentacles. You're still trying to work on it, though. You may be focusing on your work as well, but I see you not necessarily ready to leave the situation, but damn near thinking about it. All right, so let's see. What is the advice for Cancers? Uh, mm, I would be very careful about dealing with a person, especially if they're a Gemini or a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I see the energy of somebody maybe holding back from you emotionally because there's somebody else involved here. It could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus here. All right, let's get one card from, oops, the Rebel deck. You are going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your ass up and handle it. I forgot who had that. I think Taurus. All right, so Leo was good. Was good, Leo's. It says new love. Okay, Leo. Worth waiting for. Somebody that you felt you may have liked this person or you may have wanted this individual or you may have just been waiting for somebody. Boom, you're getting them. They coming. If it's a specific person, they still coming. Whoever you've been crushing on, they coming. Let's see. Yeah, Page of Wands. This is something brand new. I feel like this person is going to show you a lot of fucking attention. I feel like this person is coming towards you, blood bombing you because they're hurt about something else. This person is ready for somebody new. All right? So they're healing. I don't even feel like they're necessarily healing. They're, um, they're still stuck in the middle of this sadness. I don't feel like they're going to tell you this, but I feel like the connection between you two is going to be very strong. Ace of Cups, you're going to fall in love with this person immediately, okay? This is somebody who's going to be able to feel you emotionally and physically. You'll like this person. Ooh, let's see what your advice is. Eight of Cups fell out in reverse. My deck is not even in reverse, so... Spirit is telling you to hold on, okay? I don't know if at first you'll feel like this person is very um, headstrong, I heard, or very controlling, or they may have boundaries up. They may have real high standards. You probably will be a little turned off by that. You know, y'all are a bit free-spirited. But I feel like Spirit is saying, don't leave this person. Yeah, I feel like they'll. Um, it'll get better between you two. This person, again, is hurt. You may not understand that. Yeah, they're going through some type of heartbreak here. They're moving on from a heartbreak. So, you know, their personality may not be all that great when you meet them. But I feel like this is a beautiful person. They're just going through something. Because they really have, they're really going to be coming in to show you mad love. All right, let's get one card for you. It says, put the motherfucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Ditto. All right, thank you. Virgo. Virgalicious. Virgalicious. They want my bitches so they see my pictures out and focal. You can see me, you can't see me. That's Fergalicious. It's hot, hot. I put them boys on my rock. <laughs> they want it twice of what I got. Oh, y'all might be getting a lot of attention. Let's see. Free yourself. Oh, y'all getting out of a relationship. Yeah, release your exes in reverse, though. You don't want to, but you got to. And other motherfuckers already want you anyway, so whatever. Very looking good. Perkalicious depth, yeah. Could have been a Pisces, but I feel like the situation grow, has grown very stagnant between you and them. Ace of Cups, there's a lot of love here. Yep. I feel like there's a lot of love you have for somebody, but I feel like new love is coming in, and it's going to make you very cold towards this ex-person. I feel like you're not going to be opening up emotionally to this person anymore, and this motherfucker going to be sad. That's what they get. You move your feet, you lose your seat, bitch. <laughs> okay, what is the advice for Virgo? Four swords. You need breast, baby. 
You need rest in order to be a bad bitch and be able to show your love. Don't let people burn you out and then you can't show love to nobody else, all right? Mm-hmm, Ace of Wands. Get ready because somebody going to be having a lot of sex with you and somebody ain't going to like it. Yeah, Queen of Swords because you're going to be cutting the other motherfucker off and they're going to be coming back trying to argue with you and shit. Ooh, drama. All right, one card from the Rebel deck. You are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your powers. Use your voice. Just do not use it for dumb shit. Period. Thank you, guys. So, who do we have? Libra. Libra. What is the card for? Li Too many. Libra, don't be coming in here with all that fucking energy. Give me one card, Spirit. One card for Libra. Calm the asses down. One card for Libra. One card for Libra, Spirit. Oh, oh, okay. There it goes. Bottom of the deck here. Give your relationship a chance. Worth waiting for. So I feel like there may be some stagnancy right now between you and a person. But Spirit is saying, hold on, hold on. You got, you could give them a chance, but let them clear out whatever they got to clear out for you. All right, so Spirit, tell me what's going on. What's going on with Virgos? What's the energy for Virgos? I mean, y'all could be dealing with a Virgo. What's the energy for Libra? What is the energy for Libra, Spirit? Energy for Libra? What is the energy for Libra and love? Energy for Libra and love. Okay. Justice. Your fucking car came out. So I'll tell you one thing. You are in your power and receiving what you deserve or get down for it. Yeah, the lovers could be a Gemini. I feel like you blocked an individual because of how they were acting, okay? This person may have gotten too emotional. I feel like you do want to heal the situation with them, but you may need a break. Yep, Will of Fortune, Five of Pentacles. This person feels left out in the cold, or you do. Maybe this person left you. I heard a Gemini left you. Some of y'all, a Gemini left you, and you may have said, well, fuck you too, but you didn't really mean it. What is the advice for Libra? Five of Cups. It's time to boss up and be a bad bitch, okay? I feel like this relationship ain't over between y'all two. You're just going to have to work on it. Open up your emotions more. Yeah, seven of cups here. Get out of that confusive state. It's time to change the perspective on some things here, okay? You and this person definitely can work the situation out, but I feel like both of y'all need to change something about yourselves. Give me one card, Spirit. One card from the Rebel deck. One card from the Rebel deck for Libra. It says stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on somebody worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. That's kind of contradicting. Maybe you, like I said, y'all need a break. That's why we're waiting for us there. All right. So Scorpio, what is the energy for Scorpios today? Energy for Scorpios. What is the energy? Free yourself. It's time to get out of some connection with somebody that just ain't working no more. Yeah. True love is in reverse. You're realizing that this person ain't the fucking one. All right, Spirit. Tell me what's going on with Scorpio. Mm. Mm. You try, you try to get back with somebody. You try to reconcile the situation. You try to fix the situation. This motherfucker did it again. They did it again. They back on the same shit they was on before. Boy, I'll tell you. Same dog. No new tricks. Mm-hmm. The strength card. Now you feel like you need to hold back from this person. You're feeling like there's no need for you to continue to go along with this person's antics. Because at the end of the day, every time you think about this person, it makes you just cringe. Like, ugh. You're, you need to end it. This person is a serial backstabber for you, honey. Yeah, five of the cups. They make you feel sad. They make you feel bad about yourself. They make you question yourself. This ain't no motherfucker that's for my Scorpios. Yeah, Spirit is saying move on to something new. That may be an Aries coming in for you, or it's just time for a new start, baby. Well, all the Zodiac signs, Spirit said, ain't that the fucking truth? Now, with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords, you may be talking to somebody, but you ain't really investing. Yeah, I feel like you finding it hard to end this situation with this past person, but Spirit is saying it's time. Mm-hmm, you're going to have a little anxiety, but you won't have to work on that, baby, because you still got to get past the deck. All right, let's get one card from the Rebel deck for you guys. One card for Scorpios. One card for Scorpio Spirit. Put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. A lot of people got too much fucking time on their hands on their fucking phone, I tell you. So, now, let's see. Spirit, please give me some energy for my beautiful Sagittarius. What is the energy for my beautiful Sagittarius? What do we have going on? 
I heard love has truly been good to me. Express your love is in the reverse, okay? Flirt is in reverse. Unrequited love is in reverse, okay? Damn. Let me take a sip. I gotta talk to y'all a little bit. I heard ain't no level to this love. I follow you to the moon and the stars above. Um, I require love flirt in reverse. You're not hitting nobody up. You're not saying anything to somebody because you feel like they don't like you. But little the fuck do you know? They like you a lot. Let's see. Spirit, tell me what's going on with this individual that Sagittarius is inquiring about. The death card. Could be a Scorpio or somebody that you ended things with. Yeah. I feel like this person... I feel like you needed to go and uh, withdraw... That was the best thing for you to do. If you withdraw from this person or you you fell back and you went into your own little shell, it had to happen. I felt like this person was extremely toxic for you and you had to cut them the fuck off. Yeah, seven of pentacles. Now you're waiting to see what the fuck this is going to do or what's next for you. What this person going to do or what's next for you? Let's see. What's this devil's next move? They moving on. Okay. Yeah, they're moving on. I feel like they're talking to other people. You may get a message from them. Yeah, but it's just for attention. This person is an attention whore. I feel like they're talking to other people. All right, so what is the advice? What is the advice for Sagittarius here? It's time for you to move on too, baby. This person played mind games with you. They ain't do nothing but break your heart and make you sad. New love is coming in. I feel like this motherfucker is going to be good for you, but you're going to be very guarded. I do see this person showing you mad love. Could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Okay. So let's get one card from the Rebel deck. It says, step away from the crazy diet making for a second. Eat some yummy shit made by mother. Eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer, get you some. Let me get another one. I hate that card. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You are a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit and focus on your change, okay? Spirit said, make it rain. All right. Thank you, Sagittarius. Capricorn. Count Capulus. Count Capulus. Let's see what I have for my Count Capulus. Cappy gang. All right, Cappy, your card is worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at working your love life and flirt in reverse. Don't you make a move. It's not up to you to make a move. It's up to this person to make a move. You already was waiting for him. You ain't got to keep checking in. Like, are you ready yet? How about now? How about now? How about now? Don't do that. Don't do that. I feel like it's stagnant right now. I've seen the hangman wanting to come out. Yeah, to a source, you're deciding whether or not you're trying to make a decision on whether or not you should move on or stay and wait for this person. They dragging their feet. Yeah, you really like this person. You even like the fact that they got this little ego about them. But you need to heal because this ego about them is mistreating you. And for some odd reason in hell, you like it. Yep. This person leaves you out in the cold and then they come back when they feel like it. This is a, a motherfucker that sends, hey, you, Texas. Yep, this is a motherfucker that come back after four or five days and say, hey, you. <laughs> yeah, they it's like they come in and out of your life and I think it's starting to stress you out. You're waiting to see what they're going to do, but I feel like you need to stop. That's all you're going to get from this individual. Yeah, this person is not going to open up to you emotionally. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Tell me what the outcome is. I feel like you need to hold back your, your feelings. Yeah, you work. you need to work on yourself. You need to work on yourself. That's mad cliche, but I also feel like once you work on yourself or get over this situation, somebody new is going to come in. Yep. Ace of Cups. You're going to be pretty guarded. I feel like that's because you still need time to heal. Will of Fortune, but things are going to turn in your favor. This person will receive their karma for how they treated you. Believe me. Okay. Let's get one card from the Rebel deck. Oh. Drop the fucking ego and get some sleep. Okay. All right, bye, you guys. So, Aquarius, may I have a word with you? What's good with Aquarius today? Aquarius, please give me a card for Aquarius. Just one. 
Just one spirit. I know you got, okay, this one. Romantic feelings in reverse, path life, relationship in reverse. You're dealing with a false twin flame, okay? This is a falsy. I feel like the feelings are there, but they're not being expressed. I heard we're not making love no more. We're not even trying to change. Mm, ain't nobody giving you no dick. No cootie cat. That's sick. I don't like that. All right. Yep. Yeah, look at this. Six of Wands. They're getting attention from other people, so they're rejecting you, Aquarius. This. I feel like it's time for you to make a decision about this person. I feel like y'all don't really have to. This person may be walking away, and it's time for you to close yourself off emotionally to this individual as well. Okay. One more card for what's going on here. One more card, Spirit. Give me one more. Yeah, four of pentacles. You're going to have to hold off from this individual. It's time for you to take your energy back. And you may not want to, but you need to, okay? What is the advice? Advice for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius, please. It's time for you to go within. I feel like you need to make a final decision. Follow your intuition about this. Relationship that you in is stressing you out. It's very toxic. And somebody plays a lot of mind games and manipulates you, okay? And I don't like none of that. All right, let's get one card from the Rebel deck. You are the shit and don't forget it. I know my Aquarius bitches are. All right, so let's get one for Pisces. Thank you, Aquarius. Pisces, what is going on with Pisces? What is the energy? Oh, I'm getting dizzy. All right, what's going on with Pisces? What's going on, Pisces, today? Up, oh, up, oh, new love, calling in your soul man reverse. So you done gave up on somebody else because somebody else is here all up in your ass. All right, okay, all right, okay. Pisces said it don't take much, boo. <clears throat> don't you ever for a second get to thinking you're irreplaceable. Go ahead and get down. Call up that chick and see if she's home. Oops, you thought I don't, that I didn't know. What did you think I was putting you out for? Cause you was untrue. All the whole around in the car about you. Okay, Pisces said I will sing it. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's see. Ten of Cups, the judgment. You're walking away. And I feel like it's because this person's already involved. Ten of Cups is here. Yeah, I feel like this person has been detaching from you anyway, and it's been hard for you to deal with. But with the Knight of Pentacles, you are slowly but surely taking your ass somewhere else. Seven of Swords, you're starting to realize you were dealing with somebody who was very deceptive. This is my Mr. Liar card. So Mr. Liar got some shit that they want to say to you, but I don't know if you want to hear it. Let's see what your advice is, Pisces. What is the advice for Pisces today, Spirit? What is the advice for Pisces? We have the Emperor, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. It's time for you to cut the idea of having this person out. I feel like you've been very stubborn. You've been holding on to this person. You were trying to make it work with this person. But guess what? It's time for you to put all that energy into you. Yeah, turn your back on this person. Focus on yourself and your finances. Let it die. Let it end. There was a lot of secrets here that you didn't know. And I feel like it doesn't matter if you know at this point. You're, you can be so much of a better you if you move on from them. Okay. One card from Pisces. It says, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, here the fuck it is. All right, Pisces. Thank you.